modern day Pakistan is a nation hunting for new insignias, new symbols, new ideas that will define its identity in the new decade, in the 21st century, in a world of turmoil. It wants to shed some of the old ideas and indeed some of the new ideas that the world outside might have about this nation. It wants to find new belief systems, new symbols. I went to ask about the new ideas of Pakistan to the man who knows more about Pakistan and its political history than anyone else in Lahore. The city's governor, Salman Taseer. I wanted to begin by asking you, um, from the sense that I get having come here, would you say that there is in a sense a Pakistan that wants an image change, a Pakistan that doesn't want to be identified with incessant violence, a Pakistan that is saying that do not misread us or do not box us only in one particular way. We are much more than the violent images that the world sees. You know, we are, what I say, the sons and daughters of the Indus. We have a tradition of poetry, music, uh, ancient uh, architecture. You can see all the beautiful sites here, universities, music. So this is not part of our culture. And unfortunately, these kind of things come across and make news. But uh, if you wander around the whole of Pakistan, you'll see the normal people like you see in any other city in the subcontinent. So we don't want this image and it's very damaging to us. But uh, it's been put out uh, when there's a bomb blast and you know, it's, it's in the press everywhere. But you know, out of the 160 million people, uh, we're talking of isolated instances. Is your country at the moment going through a schizophrenic phase? Are you essentially saying, here's the violence that's come to our neighborhood, there are some things that we must do about it and yet some people close their eyes to the fact that such imminent threats exist within the country? Look, everybody gets threatened, okay, in, in different ways. But I pay so much tribute to the resilience and the spirit of the people of this country that whatever happens, you know, we had threats on our schools, for instance. That's right. I'm the chancellor of universities. I called all the university people and the teachers. We had huge conferences. That's right. And they said, no. We are not going to let these people interfere with our way of life. We have to face it. And, you know, uh, the difficult times come in a, in a human being's life, in a family's life. So if it comes in our life, we'll face it. And that's the spirit all over the city, all over the country. When they hit it, attack some target, of course, there's a lot of pain. There's a national pain. But then we carry on and we'll take it. So, you know, it's, it's not worked. Nothing has stopped. You can go to any city, any kind, nothing stopped. You're having a first fashion week in Lahore. Not uh, the first. We've had many. Uh, in, in Karachi, you had one. Yeah, we've had now, many. Uh, an organized fashion week? Yes, yes. We've had fashion weeks. We, we, have, we have fashion shows. Right. Uh, one, of the, one of the papers I own, uh, right. Sunday Magazine, has an annual, you know, extravaganza where all the we choose the, the model of the year and right. so on and so forth. Right. So the fashion business is, is, uh, is thriving. And you're talking one fashion week, but we have a fashion event every day. People outside your country want to know, when they hear of a fashion event or a fashion week in Pakistan, the image that comes to their mind is, but how are they able to do this? Because here's supposedly a country that's dogged with trouble, dogged with extremism. They have all sorts of issues in different places. In your mind, how does this happen? Is, is, is this the little known ideas of Pakistan? No, oh, this is where I, I'll, I'll say very categorically, it happens every day here. You know, you said you're having a first wife. It's not the first. Right. There are dozens of them. There's at different levels. There are fashion weeks, there, there are product launches, there are beauty, uh, you know, contests. There's everything going on in the hotels and private, uh, you know, uh, places and parks and auditoriums and nobody thinks anything of it because 99% of the people in this town uh, don't, you know, it's, 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 it's not a big deal. My final question, when you look ahead, Governor, in the next five years, in the next decade, 
A will you get an image makeover, B will we get peace. I know they are both very broad, very broad statements. I know deep in our hearts we want it to happen. But realistically, will Pakistan get an image makeover? Well, I mean, we are, we are uh, working uh, at this as a major foreign policy and national security issue. I mean, Pakistan has succeeded better than any government, I'm talking of the current government, Certainly. than any other government in the last so many years in destroying these terrorists, in destroying their bases, driving them out. In fact, they've been, they've, even the American NATO forces are looking at the operation in Pakistan as a, as a success story, as a, as a role to follow. So when we have shown our will to destroy these people, to contain them and to push them out of the country, then what gives them strength? is if India is hostile to us and India threatens us, then many people turn around and say, these people will be a secondary force if India attacks us. So India has to remove this kind of threat, threat against Pakistan. My final question, in our lifetimes, in your lifetime and mine, will we get peace, Governor? Of course. <laughs> On that optimistic note, thank you very much for inviting me to Governor House. In the end, Pakistan is perhaps just like any other troubled country. It's dealing with its troubles, and yet every morning when people wake up, it's not the troubles that they think of. But where do they think of that? Anywhere in the world. We are a peaceful country over here. We can't do it. 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 We are on our way. Positive attitude we have it. Perhaps there's hope yet for Pakistan, as long as little schoolgirls like Fatima want to set the birds free. Did you ever want to let these birds free for them to fly away? Yes, I do, but my mom did, didn't want to fly away. Your mom didn't want them to fly away? Yes. But do you want them, do you want to set them free? Yes. You do want to set them free? Yes. Excellent. So are you going to one day set them free? Yes. When will you set them free? Uh, next Sunday. Next Sunday you'll set them free? And what will they do when you set them free? They will go in a tree and live there and eat what they want to.